If it's treasure you're seeking here, you're not gonna find it. I know because it's my home. You come into my home and try to steal my things. But I know better. In my old age, I wouldn't be able to stop you. So instead, why don't you sit down? You really think an old babam like myself is gonna do anything? Sit down. No. Why are you after my things? When you could be going treasure hunting yourself. No! This isn't treasure hunting, this is thievery. You're a thief, not a pirate. I know a few things about being a pirate. Look up there. Those are my awards. Admiral Bombury at your service. I have my own navy fleet. But sadly, I had to retire because of an injury. Yes, that's why I have the eye patch. But no matter. That's not why we are here talking. I'm here to talk to you. Because you want to be a pirate. I can sense it. But you're acting more of a thief than anything. You see, if you were to recognize my flag hanging outside my abode, you would have recognized that as a Dolly Roger. And clearly you didn't. Because you tried to just sneak through my window. You didn't pay no attention to that. That's where you are not a pirate. A pirate would not steal another one's pirate's treasure, especially when a pirate's retired. You should be ashamed of yourself. But I'm not here to punish you. In my old age, I wouldn't be able to do it anyway. You want tea? Alright. So, what has you being a pirate? You just want money? Fame? Riches? What is it? Hmm. You're for your family. <laughs> I said that too, kid. I said that too. And now look at me. Retired in a nice home. Spent most of my gold on this place as well. Yes, this whole building's fine. A nice retired pirate needs a nice abode to stay and rot his bones away. Of course. There you are. Now. Within everything I have said now, do you have anything to say to me? Uh, apology accepted. I am not one to hold grudges, even though I am a babam, and some of us have a short fuse, to say the least. Of course, anything for a young pirate. But one thing, you just got to remember what that flag means to us. Do you hear me? Good on ya. Ah, oh, about that injury of mine. You see, I'd be walking on a peg leg, I lost me foot. And I also lost my eye. Hence the eye patch. Everything because of a fight. 
I still remember it like it was yesterday. But it wasn't yesterday, it was a long, long time ago. Where I worked under one person. Say not to. I choose not to say his name because it comes with bad energy. I worked under this person, this thing, this creature. I worked under him to stop a certain person to getting through into his stars. I was set place on a floating island of some sort. And I was guarding a mountain. And they came out of nowhere. They had outnumbered us. And, well, I lost a leg in me eye. They took over that land and, well, I decided to move out here so it'd be a lot more safer for me to be on the seas than it is on the land. Because, well, you can't lose everything in the sea. Except maybe a few barrels. <laughs> well, of course. I'm happy with to where I am. It doesn't matter if I lost a few things in the... On the way. If I have everything intact in my heart, then I have everything intact. In general. Yes, yes, I'm quite happy where I am. It takes a long time, but... I promise you, once you get to my age, with being... an admiral of... Uh, fleet. You'll see how important it is to you, and you will shed a tear. I did when I had to leave. So you just live out your glory days as a pirate. Are you part of any crew of some sort? Well, if being a solo pirate is hard, very hard, I advise you to find a crew. And I know exactly where you can find one. Come closer. You're going to have to go out. Wherever you live. You're going to have to go out around the... Uh, around the night time. At midnight. That's when the pirates come in to shore. They have these big boats, big sails that have that same flag outside me home, but at huger scales. They will bring out chests of money so they can waste it here, drink their ales and whatnot, and then go on their way back to the seas. I advise you to try to talk to one of the generals, or even one of the captains, to tell them that you're ready for sea life. And, just to put in an extra little bit of help with you, tell them Admiral Bombari sent ye. That'll get you some extra points. Of course. Now, if I can't live my life out on the sea, why not help another try to get to the sea themselves and experience the saltiness of the water and the dangers of the waves. It's, uh, it's not a problem. You're lucky I didn't beat you up myself. I do have uh, something of, up my sleeve. <laughs> now, girl, get out of me house. And if I catch you here again, I will be beating you. <laughs> All right. Take care now. Bye-bye. <laughs> Kids. Always trying to live their dreams. It reminds me when I was younger.